you're still breathing? Can you roll? Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake! Well, there's some names there. <laughs> one I've already identified. It's one of the mates. And the other one is the person who killed over dead. Hmm. Apparently I can figure out who they are, but it's quite difficult. But they're not the one who died. You are. And you got viciously speared. Wait, are you not the Who's the one who died? I've lost track of who I was going for. Dear God, there's too many bodies. There's the shell. Yep, that's wood in there. That's how they got scratched. Scratched makes it sound minor. That's how they got clawed. Is that a pipe? Yeah, it's a smoking pipe going flying. Oh, Hagen, you still breathing? Can you row? And someone says, help. And then person who died said, Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sakes. Nichols is one of the mates. I think it was the second mate. Mm, so O'Hagan is not, they're calling out to O'Hagan, but O'Hagan is not the person who died because the person who died is saying, O'Hagan, you still breathing. Still cowering. Yep, there's Nichols. Wow, they weren't helping at all, were they? They just froze. Okay, seriously. Are you really the one who... died? You are. What did you die from? They were the one calling out to O'Hagan, you still breathing, can you row? Right? Who's O'Hagan? Could it be you? <laughs> I guess probably not, because they're still blurry. Yeah, I don't understand this one. I don't understand why they seem to be grabbing them. I don't know if they're like... I mean, this is the moment they died, so they're probably grabbing them because they're collapsing. This is when they died, but I don't see how they died at all. I don't see any obvious wounds. I don't see anything sticking out of them. I don't know. This is before the box was opened. For what it's worth. And before the box was opened, this shell is still here. Claude. 
There's a little knife down there. Looks like they're trying to cut themselves out using that spear tip. They were speared. Speared by a beast. Don't know who they are, though. Let's look at the dialogue again. Whoops. Mother of God. Oh, this is in Russian. Interesting. Give us a weapon is the one who died. So... Th Give us a weapon is being said by this person. The one who died. That makes me think that they were under... I don't know, almost as if they were a prisoner as well. Give us a weapon, you know, that seems kind of like what a prisoner says when... You know, in like a movie, when there's a prisoner, and then terrible stuff starts happening, and then the prisoner's like, look, we're gonna die if I can't if I can't help you, so just give me a freaking gun. But I don't know, they're not tied up or anything, but I don't think you really could be tied up if you're gonna row. You could tie up the feet, I guess. Anyway, I don't think that's too important. They're looking at one of the mermaids, the second mate, they have a gun in their hand, although later we see them cowering. Little satchel. You're still unharmed at this point. Bunlon. You still have the pipe in your mouth at this point. <laughs> um, let's look at the dialogue again. Mother of God in Russian. Keep rowing. Something in Chinese. They are here. Bang, bang, bang the chest. Bang the chest. Talking to this person, right? Yeah. Eat bang sia. Who is saying that, though? Was that? I mean, it must have been said. <clears throat> by Boon Lon. Where is it? Something there. I see it. Give us a weapon. Miss Leems, stay down. Pick up the oars and row, you fools. The fact that this is Russian narrows it down to, I think it was three people, but I don't know which one of those three it would be, so I can't say as far as that goes. Um, there's one other thing I might be able to figure out. Oh, Hagen, you still breathing. Can you row? That was said by <clears throat> this person just slightly later. So, oh, Hagen must be, I mean, it must be this person, right? Because this one's already well dead. This person's still alive, as far as we can see. And we can be pretty sure that not much time passed between now and that memory we saw before, where this person was saying, Oh, Hagen, you still breathing? Can you row? I guess I could have been talking to this person. I think they got stabbed as well. Um, I'm going to bet it's this person. Does the game think I can identify them? It does. It's listed as a three difficulty, but I'm going to go for it. O'Hagan. Patrick O'Hagan, a seaman from Ireland. Keep course due east. You'll reach the Canaries in three days. You've packed enough stores, 
Aye, sir. Checked and loaded them myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Obra Dinn. Shoot ya! The one swab all! I shut it off. This is strange things. If I'm monsters. Oh, they just barely avoided that spear tip. Looks like they're tied up as well. Can't actually see the rope, but the way their hands are back like that. They must be tied up. Wonder why just those two are tied up. Alright, let me check something. Ah, okay. When somebody said... I think it's when they said, I, sir, checked and loaded them myself. Uh, when somebody asked, you packed enough stores? Uh, this person. They sounded like they had an Irish accent. So I believe this, this person talking is the one who I just identified, O'Hagan. Because they came from Ireland. So this just further confirms it, because down here... This was a totally different voice, right? This is from the person who died, not Irish. This is from someone else, is Irish. So therefore, the person who died... ...cannot be the one who's Irish, which means they can't be O'Hagan, which means it pretty much has to be the other person. So I'm pretty confident that I got that right. Yeah, you. We know how you were killed. Apparently we can identify you. A lot of people were speared by a beast. We'll reach the Canaries in three days. Ooh. Oh, interesting. We'll reach the Canaries in three days. You packed enough stores. So they're trying to get to the Canaries, paddling there, desperately. Um, and they go on to say, stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Right, because this little robo doesn't have any sails. The Oberdin does, of course. So if the wind picks up, then the Oberdin will be able to overtake them. So the Oberdin was coming for them, trying to stop them from reaching the Canary. Where is the Canaries? Is that on the map, I assume? Canary Islands. Yeah, there's little blips here for when each event happened. So here was the calling. So Canary Islands are quite close. I mean, you know, from a map view, it's quite close. In reality, that tiny distance on the map apparently was going to take them about three days. Was the chest on board? Did they take the chest with them? Or did they, like, go somewhere and find the chest? I get the feeling that the chest was already on board at this point. And they were taking it to the Canary Islands because, what, they were being called there? Or they were trying to escape with it? Maybe they thought it was extremely valuable or something, so they wanted it for themselves. Actually, let's go back to the beginning. Have we missed... Have we missed any chapters that could show us the chest? Loose cargo, we've done. Bitter cold, we've done, yes. Did we do murder? Okay, we haven't done murder, so the chest might appear in murder. 
And then after that is the calling. Anything else here? It's packed enough stores. Slim, are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. But the chest, it must not fall into the ocean. If the monsters come, you must stay down. So at this point, they already expected the monsters. They've already seen them. This isn't the first time. Conclusion. Two wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. Who is this and what fate befell them? I don't know. You, I know who you are. What happened to you? I'm sure your body is slumped over in the future in one of the memories so i think i can just go back and just look we know they got scratched but i don't know if that's what killed them they might have just gotten speared somewhere in between one of the memories so let's dive back in first thing i want to do is as far as I can tell, this looks like fire, even though energy also looked like it came shooting out of this box. This still looks like fire. Mysterious energy is not an option as a cause of death, so I'm just going to say burned. Mm, this person, I don't know what their name is, but I think I know their cause of death. This is their body, and I think that's that small knife that we saw on the ground at some point. Yeah, so they were stabbed in the head. Although by who? Well... It seemed like this person, after getting free, right? They cut them... Uh, what's their name again? Eatbang. It seems like Eatbang was tied up. They cut themselves free on this spear tip. And then later we saw... Eatbang sort of like grabbing, pushing something with this person. And now this person is dead with a knife in their head and this person is getting inside of the chest. Uh, Eat Bang is getting inside of the chest. So I think it's fair to say that Eat Bang stabbed them with a knife. They were stabbed. Knifed. Knifed. I guess. Knifed. By Eatbang. Still don't know their name, though. I got a little bit confused on how to navigate those memories in a sensible way. I think O'Higgin probably died from being clawed because we saw the one memory where they were clawed. But I'm not sure. We must have found their bodies, though, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to assent, uh, assign a method of dying. It's going to be a l like an educated guess, then, but I'm going to say Claude. Right. What now? What now indeed? How did I get started on that whole thing? It was from the bottom bottom, right? Yeah, it was from somewhere down here. There's that body there. Was it this one? Missing leg bone? I don't think so. 
is that one creepy opened hatch that leads who knows where. Oh right, it was all this stuff that eventually led to it. I really don't remember exactly where I left off though. Was it up here? Where was it? Doesn't it just take me back up to somewhere I've already been before? I'm not sure where to go now. How many chapters do I have incomplete? Lose cargo, done. Bitter cold, done. Murder, I know I haven't done at all. Calling, yes. Unholy captives, yes. Soldiers of the Sea, no. Oh, yes. The Doom, yes. Escape, yeah, yeah. We did escape. Bargain. Yeah, that will remain unknown until we get to the end. The end? We started with the end, didn't we? Yeah, that's when Co Robert Witterell shoots people trying to get into their cabin. So it's only murder that we're missing as far as the stuff that we can do before the end of the game, I think? I think I just stumbled upon the next thing. Yeah, this door here looks weird, which is how it seems to look when it's like just been opened through a memory and you haven't gone into it yet, I think. It looks kind of like how the bodies look, although when the bodies look like this, I think that usually means that I have gone into their memories. <laughs> Anyway, I just looked in here and noticed there's a body of some sort. There's like a bone on a necklace, I think, hanging outside of the window. So that's a bit strange. Hmm. Hmm. Is this around the time when the boat? Oh. Around the time when they were trying to escape on the boat? Yeah. And there's one of the people who we found on the boat. Who I think died on the boat later during the calling. So yeah, these people are the ones who got on the boat and escaped. kind of looks like they're getting him off the boat. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. That's Patrick O'Hagan, another one who's on the boat. They're on the boat. Not sure if they were on the boat. I think maybe. Looks like a butterfly. The murder? Yes. Hmm, it's got the picture of the chest. So, yes, the chest was certainly here before they went out on the boat. They didn't, like, go out on the boat, the rowboat, to go get it. They had it and they were taking it with them away because they wanted it for themselves. Right, well, they were shot. By a gun? Who shot them, though? That really does look like a butterfly, by the way. <laughs> Looks really pretty. Oh no, there's a chicken loose! Buddy! I'm scared for your safety. Oh, the second maid, Edward Nichols, shot that person. 
Spoon Lon Leem. Yeah, they were taking them hostage. The way they're like dragging them back. So you were killed by Edward Nichols. Don't know who the hell you are, though. I think that's one of the other people that went on the trip with him. Yeah, all these people here, I think, went on the trip. And these, all of these people, only this one trying to stop them didn't, and they were killed. Now what's going on here? Are you the... You're not the doctor. I don't know who you are, and I don't know if this is what killed you. Seems likely. It seems like a pretty nasty wound. They were speared in the thigh. Wearing interesting clothes. And they're kind of back on their own. Ooh. And they have their hand on the helm. That's the helmsman. Finley Dalton. Wait. Did I just mark the wrong person? I just marked you as Finley, didn't I? Yeah, sorry, you're not Finley. Get out of here. Oh, you're the one who exploded later. Don't know who you are. Holding their head like they maybe just got hit in the back of the head or something? Oh, Jesus. What the hell's going on here? Someone being hung from the rigging. Whoa. One of the Formosan royalty. The other guard. That explains why later on we don't see this. Uh, we don't see this guard anymore. We only see these three people. This one must have died here during this. Why? Why, though? It's blood dripping down. Were they like bait or something? What the hell? Another torch butterfly. A lantern butterfly, I mean. We got the escaped chicken. How did it get out, by the way? I don't see any broken bars. Skillful little chicken. Ah. There's a boat on this side, too. What are you up to? They've got like a big satchel. And they've got a pipe. They've got a pipe in their mouth. That's the person that we saw later on. The pipe in their mouth and then the pipe um, shooting off. We don't have a fate for them, but they were... We saw them dragged into the water? Or were they stabbed into the water? I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I think we can figure out what happened to them in The Calling. But I'll leave that for now. Like, we're going to go back through all the memories again. Probably many times, I'm sure. Plenty of time for that.
All right, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to figure out exactly how they died. One of the guards of the Formosan royalty.